I'm very truth filled to the inner core that I am. That inner core is a very creative monster. It wants to constantly create something, even if it is causing trouble. You're you're still creating. And I wonder if that's the reason why we were always banging heads when I was a child, because my mind wanted to create something. Trouble. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So let's turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. We are so guilty of walking down a street and we think that we know other people's stories. It's like standing at a library or a bookstore and we look at the front cover of that magazine or the book and we've already written the story. The events in our lives, there's something that's happening in two or three weeks and your mind is already writing the story without ever experiencing the moment, but yet it wants to write the story. And we get in lots of trouble because the thing is, is that we, we pound ourselves with so much negative energy trying to figure out, well, what if, what if, what if, and that what if never materializes and you're never going to get that positive energy back because you wasted so much time writing a story. See, I've written seven books. I know what it's like to write a story and what it's, what's required to put that story in a story form so that other people can pick it up and feel it, experience it, and hopefully share it forward. But when you invisibly write a story by judging the book by its cover, things don't always turn out the way they need to. I think sometimes we write the story in our own way and we try to put that story in action. And, and, and then we try to say, well, this is the way that I thought it should be. I'm going to make sure that it does. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess. A chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. I know stories and I have to deal with those stories that are created inside my imagination every day. And I've gotten to the point where I say, don't write the story. Don't write the story. Live life. Don't write the story. This is The Daily Mess. The journey, the walk, the way, the task, the dream, the activation. Here we are. How much time remains? Which I believe is the reason why I wake up so many times in the middle of the night. The inner self wants to feel secure in knowing that there are several hours left before I have to make that decision to get up and start a brand new day. Now, some might ask, what's next? Will it be the same? How much is going to change? No, thanks. I'm going to stay right here. We had dinner with two friends last night. We haven't seen these two in in, in a couple of years. Before COVID-19 was the last time we saw them. Yet nothing's changed. The conversations actually picked up right from where they left off. Then again, isn't that judging a book by its cover? In the two hours we had together, the subjects at hand didn't truly dive into the journey, the walk, the way. It was more about catching up. How are you? Then we moved on like passing ships. We're in that mode and in that movement of where people are just constantly working ahead. They're moving. They're, I mean, seriously, they're moving out of state, out of the country. They're moving. And then somehow, some way, history puts us back on the same dot. And I mean, yesterday, I, I'm, I'm telling you, it was the oddest thing. I sent out a text to my friend. They live in Florida. I said, hey, how did you survive Hurricane Ian? Are, are you guys okay? And he writes back and says, no. And, and I thought, oh my God, what happened? And he says, we're not even there. We're in Charlotte. Wait a second. I'm in Charlotte. And then we agreed to have dinner. What were the chances that our paths would cross? And then the second that you see each other, it's like time never moved. It was all one and the same. Now, why would I even think that this would be considered judging a book by its cover? Well, because when you look at somebody, you think, wow, you you look great. Everything must be great. But we didn't take the time to really say, how are you? Don't, no, don't, don't, don't screw with my mind. Don't, don't give me a candy coated plastic bathroom mirror smile. How are you? And that's when you learn that, well, you know what? The dog that we have that we adopted is still destroying the house. Uh, the, the, and, and she doesn't like anybody. She loves us, but she doesn't like. And they find out they've got the same type of dog where they're, it's very protective of them. But it didn't go deeper than that. But we did learn that there were some Facebook problems, but I wanted deeper than that. Be, and, and, and dinner was over. And, and here in America, the craziest thing happens. You go home after dinner is over. And then you wonder... Are we going to do it again? The journey, the walk, the way, the task, the dream, the activation. Where are we? 
how much time remains. And I ask that in a very serious tone because I want you to think about this. How many summers do you have left? When the two ships met each other last night, you can't help but wonder, will that be the last time? I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.